Hey guys, it's Whitney. I decided today I was going to do BJD Addicts prompt number 14, faces and sculpts. Sorry for the creepy lighting. It's a little bit dark outside and a little bit overcast. So I had to use what I had. So I think how I'm going to work this is I'm gonna start with what I don't like. The first thing I don't like, the first thing I'm really picky on, I should say, is the profile of a doll. For me, a profile should be really well balanced. With some doll sculpts, the profile, especially in the nose between here and here, this area right here is way too deep for my liking. Something else I don't really like is wide set eyes. If you look at my dolls, none of them have eyes that seem too far apart. Well, with maybe the exception of Henrietta, but she's a rabbit. Her eyes are on either side of her head. Something else I specifically don't like is Doll Chateau's wrist. I don't get the double jointed thing. I think it looks strange and unnatural. I prefer a nice natural single jointed wrist. And lastly, what I don't like is very anime faces. Vokes is a big culprit of this. I know some people love an anime face and that's totally up to them. What I do like in dolls, however, I will start with what I like in girls. Something I look for is Audrey Hepburn features. So for Annabelle, her Audrey Hepburn feature would definitely be her jawline. I really liked her jaw and her long neck. It's very Audrey Hepburn. Lillian definitely has the Audrey Hepburn eyes, the big, round, doll-like, no pun intended, eyes. In adult females, I like quite voluptuous bodies. Annabelle's butt is actually quite big. I also look for really delicately well-sculpted hands and have a lot of character to them. And I'm also really persnickety when it comes to mouths. I think that their mouths should show a lot of expression in pictures. And if you turn their head a certain way, they should be able to look happy. And if you turn it another way, they should look sad or thoughtful. For boys, I like a nice chest, not being creepy. Uh, I also look for a certain amount of masculinity. I find a lot of boy sculpts look like girls. Also with my men, and with all my dolls really, I look for major differences. I have one of those collections where I try to make it a nice balance where they all look like they belong to each other without them being the exact same doll. And that wraps up the prompt, but there's something else I want to show you as well. In my last vlog, I introduced you to Pearl, who is gorgeous, I love her. But now there's another family member. It's Jasper, also from our generation. And here's a size comparison. So definitely like a parent horse with their baby. And this is Jasper, it's a little boy. He came with a bunch of stuff. He came with this little horse jacket thing. It looks really cute on, but I'm not a big fan of the colors, so I might try to make another one with more earthy tones. And it also came with this little feed basket, which I was contemplating getting rid of because of the color again, but it's quite large, and I think it's good for carrying all the little horse things I have. And Jasper also came with this little spray bottle, this little spray bottle, and this little spray bottle. There was thunder! It's definitely going to be a stormy day. And over here, it's kind of a work in progress sort of a situation. This is the little rain, I guess it would be called, that Jasper came with. And it's not completely painted, as you can see. It's still spray painting. Uh, the little lead, so this connects like that. And this is part of the rain. It goes on top like that. This is a hoof trimmer that I'm going to paint the handle brown. 
Thanks for watching this little vlog, you guys. Uh, please remember to follow me on Twitter and Instagram under the same name. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.